beauty chameleons and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Tasha and if you're not, welcome on back. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. I ate too much. Can you tell from this puffy face? It's time to get fit, beauty chameleons out there. So stay tuned for a video talking about that because I got to get back on the bandwagon before it gets out of control. But anyway, this video is not about weight loss or about gaining weight or what have you. Um, in my last video, when I did a, a makeup haul and clothing haul, I had showed you guys the 7 and 7 kit by Cargo. And many of you guys out there were like, well, do seven, you know, do the 7 and 7 and see if you can do it in 7 minutes. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this within seven minutes maybe <laughs> with the exception of false lashes but anyway if you like to see how this um, beautiful set which I think would be great for if you're traveling during the holidays it has very neutral colors to wear to any holiday party that's a little bit more low key and not so requiring dramatic makeup stay tuned and keep on watching and see if I can do this look in seven minutes cargo seven and seven tutorial makeup in seven minutes one two three let's get started first step is to apply the cargo one base concealer this concealer is wonderful because it has a nice light to medium coverage non cakey and you can use it to apply it underneath your eyelid and throughout various areas of your face once you have it applied you can use your fingertips to blend in or if you have your favorite cosmetic concealer brush you can use that as well as you can see I'm applying this on my eyelid as a base for the eyeshadow and I'm also again blotting on the other side of my face. Step 2. Let's apply on the Mini Essential Eye Palette. Using my Sigma SS239 brush, which is a flat shader brush, I will be grabbing the lid color from the palette and applying it to the eye area. This color is a very nice neutral tone and by using patting and dabbing motions, this will ensure that all the shadows get on the lid and reduce any fallout on the eye area. We're going to move on to the other side. Using the same brush, we're going to evenly apply the eyeshadow onto the lid using patting and dabbing motions just to lock on most of the color onto the lid and then apply a bit more to intensify the color. I love this color because it's a very nice smooth neutral tone close to my skin tone and since it's a satin shade, it's actually going to be a nice color to help brighten up the eye area. Now using my Sigma E35 Tapered Blending Brush, there's actually no color applied onto the brush. I'm just simply using the brush in the crease to kind of blend out any harsh edges. Using the same brush, we will be using the shade 3, which is a nice matte color, using the Sigma E35, and again, this is the Tapered Blending Brush. This is a great fluffy dome shaped brush to apply this color on. The color is a nice matte color, which is really great for blending in the crease because when using a shimmer color in the crease, I can't accentuate any fine lines or wrinkles that are in this area, so a matte color will actually recede and create definition around the eye area. And remember, as always, when you apply color into your crease, use soft blending motions and windshield washing motions to avoid any choppy areas on the eyelid. Moving on to the other side, we are going to use the same brush and color starting at the crease and you want most of the concentration at the crease and you want to lightly have a nice gradient finish to the brow bone. So your crease color should be very dark at the crease and lightly fade out to a light color. So don't forget to blend, blend, blend. Now moving on to the last color in this palette, which is the dark matte brown. We're going to use the same brush and apply a bit of that color in the outer corner of the eye. This will give a nice defined finish to your eye look, creating a little bit more depth and making those eyes pop. Simply create that V, kind of place your um, eyeshadow, and then start using short blending motions with the same brush. Now we're going to move on to the other side and do the same technique. Essentially you'll end off with a more refined, polished look for your eye area. Area. I 
I'm just simply adding just a little bit more of this shadow just to add a little bit more definition. It's okay if you want the eye to be a little bit more intense, add more. Otherwise, you like the way it looked before, stop here. And I think I like it. Mm -hmm. Using the Sigma, and this is the E25 blending brush, I am simply going to be using this as a blending brush to apply on the brow bone color. This color is the very first in this palette and it's a beautiful satiny texture that can be used underneath the brow bone to create that perfect highlight. And you may notice a little further on with using this color, I will use it in the inner corners of my eyes to brighten up the eyes. Simply apply a very light, light amount of this color because when you put it on, it definitely is very intense. And if it gets a little bit more overboard, you can take your fingers and slightly smudge off the excess to lighten up. And now I'm going to move on to the other side and create that same illusion of a nice intense arch of the brow and inner corners of my eye. Now using my short shader brush, and that is the E20 from Sigma, I will be using this brush as a smudger brush to apply a little bit more definition to my lower lash line. Simply just smudge and tap off the excess, but you can apply it on the upper, outer quarter of the lash line to create a little bit more depth, and just kind of lightly blend right at the root of the lashes and blend your way up. And then I also will apply a little bit more in the outer corners. Once you get that done, you can definitely apply a little bit more along the lower lash line and make sure you're applying this color at the root of where the lashes grow. You don't want this line to become too thick and chunky. And then I'm just going to take the same technique and apply it to the other side of the eye, describing a little bit more of that shadow and essentially lining it on the outer corner of the eye and blending it into that outer crease color if you per se. And then I will apply a little bit more on the lower lash line. Again, the ultimate goal is to create a little bit more definition and pop to your eye area. Uh oh, seven minutes, time's up. I guess this may take a little longer than seven minutes. Step three, go ahead and grab that cargo eyeliner pencil and apply it to your lash line like you normally would. I'm keeping this liner very close and tight to my lash line. And then again, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, just slightly smudge and create a little bit more definition there. And then I also will apply it to my inner rim of my lower lash line as well. Step four, grab that lash activator. This is great for applying a little color to the lash line and it's also great because it helps strengthen your lashes while wearing this product. Step five, we are gonna apply that beach blush in Echo Beach using the Sigma Dual Fiber Brush number F15. This brush is very soft and fluffy and great for getting a light amount of blush on the cheek without overdoing. Just remember to apply a little bit in the fullest areas of the cheek and move your way up. Step six, apply a reverse liner to add extra pops to the lip. This step is optional. Final step, step seven, apply your lip gloss. I'm using Venice. This lip gloss is very sheer and just have a slight tint of color. So this is perfect to wear during the daytime just to add a little pop to the lip. Seven products in seven minutes, maybe a little bit longer. But we are all set and ready to go. One thing, false lashes, gotta have it. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick um, voiceover of um, how to complete this look when 
and almost seven men. So it's probably a little bit over. And give or take, if you're one of those glammy divas out there that like to wear false lashes, it's going to take a little bit longer than seven minutes to achieve this look. But my overall thoughts in this collection, I'm going to tell you. Um, I think the collection itself is very beautiful. I mean, it's great if you're going to be traveling for the holiday seasons or you just need some makeup for every day that's truly neutral and you can wear it at any situation without worrying about the makeup being too dramatic for the situation or not enough makeup for the situation. This is a great palette to work with. All the colors are very soft and neutral, as you can see on me, and you can create some nice um, shading with this palette, which I love. Um, the concealer in this palette, um, if you're needing very minimal coverage, this one is a wonderful concealer. It's very light in consistency, um, and I'll show it to you. It's almost like a, um, it's called one base because you can use it as a concealer and foundation in one. So I like this color is number, I think, 45, but I like that it's water-based and yet it still has a nice medium coverage with it. But for some of you guys that need more full coverage, this might not be enough for you. But again, it's a great to use underneath the eye. In this look, I use it as a, uh, a primer for my eye because I wanted to see how it would hold up with just using that and that works fairly well. The colors are definitely kind of like a satiny matte. You ble I believe you get like these top two are going to be more of a satiny, which is great for opening up the eyes here and kind of great for giving you a nice highlight to kind of make the eyes look open and brighter. And then the crease and um, outer crease color is great. Um, it's matte, so it's really great to create some shading and definition around the eye area. Um, as far as the liner, um, it's not quite my favorite. I mean, I'm used to the Urban Decay 24-7. It goes on almost like a gel liner, or you guys know I love to use my Wet n Wild gel liner. So it's good for somebody that is just breaking into makeup. Um, the mascara, that I do love. I love the preciseness of the, um, the spoolie. <clears throat> if you look at the spoolie on um, the brush, it's very spiky. It gets very nice separation. And on top of it just being a mascara primer, you can wear it as a mascara because it does have black tint into it. But it also has help to thicken and condition your lash. So I like that because, you know, I know many of you guys out there, you wear the false lashes. And there are some accidents that come along the way where either you're too tired and you pull off the lash band and, um, you pull out a few lashes along the way so this is a great product to use to help kind of strengthen them and help them grow back and I know they do carry a lash serum that you can use at night time to help with the growth of your lashes but this is really nice I wish they just make this uh, mascara as a mascara with the brush hex I really like that um, as far as the blush, love the blush, um, the bronzer blush, this is called Echo Beach, but it just honestly just gives you a tint of color with a nice glow, so it's kind of like a blush, highlighter, bronzer, all in one, I think that's good. And as far as the reverse liner, you guys, um, unless I'm doing something to help pop like my red lips or colored lips, I really don't use a reverse liner, those are supposed to help give you more of a defined edge around your lips. It's okay. Maybe as a lip primer or a lip um, base, I may use it. And the lip gloss is very sheer. I mean, it's not going to be. A lot of people kind of shy away from this. They think it's going to be a dark color. But this color is called Venice, and I believe they do sell this separately. This is actually a really nice tint of color. So if you don't want a lot of focus on the lips, this is really good, and it's not sticky. So I think overall the collection is really good. I think this sells for either $37 or $49.99 at Ulta. And I believe Sephora inside JC Penney's carry it. But if you're looking for a really convenient way of um, traveling or have something in your purse that's really small, uh, concise, this is really good to work with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as far as showing you how you can use this um, set for every day for your next holiday party that's very low key but very beautiful um, this, this tutorial but anyway you guys I hope you have a great day I hope you're getting ready for your fun Christmas festivities and stay tuned there will be some more um, videos coming up along with the contest for the holiday season anyway you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video bye